if there is one ui which i have to choose over a stock android then it's definitely gonna be the oxygen os oxygen os is a custom ui which comes pre-installed in a oneplus phones similar to how xiaomi phones comes with the miui i had used the oxygen os in the past on my redmi note 4 and i'm the big fan of that ui I was looking for the same in my POCO M2 Pro and finally after a long wait I found a proper Oxygen OS build and I have been using this port for more than a month now and here is everything you need to know about this port. So this ROM has been ported from the OnePlus 6 and is based on the Mi Atoll tree. That means it can be installed in the Redmi Note 9 Pro and the POCO M2 Pro. Now if you go onto the about section you will see that the specs and all the other details is of OnePlus 6. So everywhere this phone will be visible as a OnePlus 6. Anyway, what all features do we have here? So we have a typical OnePlus features like parallel app where you can use two WhatsApp accounts simultaneously in your phone. Then we have the app lock quick reply through which we can chat while playing the game in the landscape mode. We have the game bar, fanatic mode, zen mode and all these are working without breaking our sweat. Of course, some features like DC dipping quick pay will not work because of lack of some hardware. Also, I do notice that the max brightness is a bit less in this port compared to other ROMs. Other than that, everything else is working pretty well. Now let's talk about the usage part. So this phone is performing as good as stock ROM. There isn't any major lag or stutter in the UI, games and all. Everything is working fine. But huh, the RAM management is not the best. Phone can only open 2 to 3 apps in the background and it kills the background apps quite frequently. I don't know if it's the OnePlus memory optimization or something. But yeah, RAM management is not that great. Now, other daily stuffs like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Hotspot, all these things are working fine. There are some issues in the Hotspot earlier but it has been fixed in the recent updates. The voice call over LTE is working almost every time, although video calling is broken here. So yeah, not a big deal for me but yeah, if you are concerned about the video calling, you can use Google Duo or WhatsApp or any other third party apps for that. Now this port also comes with the oneplus camera by default but only the camera mode is working over here you can download the gcam or open camera app for videos and night mode for now here are some of the sample shots taken through oneplus camera app now another concern i had with this port is the battery life but after using it i am pretty much satisfied 8 hours plus is easily achievable on heavy usage it's a decent battery life it does take a bit of time to refill at around one and a half hours but it's manageable since you are getting a pretty solid battery life so now who should install this port so if you are an oxygen os fan and want to have some oneplus experience with working zen modes and other oneplus apps you can go with this port but if you just want a rom for performance and doesn't care about oneplus ui you can check out some other roms like evolution os or pixel experience which are all based on latest version of android i had already made a video on that so do check that video for more detail now before moving on to the installation i will suggest you to subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech videos for installation make sure you backed up everything as there is a very high chance of data loss. Now simply boot into the recovery and wipe data system cache and flash the ROM zip file. That's it. Reboot the system and you're good to go. If you're facing boot loop, simply wipe data for once and it would be fine. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Also do hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Until then, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one.